women speak for themselves and men speak for themselves and both parties listen, we will accomplish way more. And that's how I feel. We always talking for women and women always talking for men and we don't get nowhere. And that's that's the yeah, problem. Yeah, he definitely making a good point, man. Uh, hey, we got it. This video is good, so I need y'all to listen. He makes some very good points. Oh, and I need y'all to start the conversation in the comments. But I ain't gonna hold y'all for too long. Let's get into it. At the end of the day, we gotta do our part. Me, I agree with what you said in the first half. What did you say in the beginning? If men start leading the way they supposed to lead. Now men, not every man is a king. Not every woman is a queen. There's some gestures in the in the kingdom, okay? Uh, and that's just how it works, a lot. right? And a king is somebody who makes decisions based on the kingdom, right? So I gotta wake up in the morning as a king to know that whatever decisions I make, my kingdom is gonna be affected by it. So I have to make the best choice possible, not just for me, but for my kingdom. That's what a that's what a king is about. That's what a man is about to me. A queen is not gonna make decisions based on her own feelings, but based off of what is gonna happen in the kingdom. Sure. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if when I get up, I gotta think about damn. How am I gonna run this kingdom? Okay, the kids gotta do this, the kids gotta do that. My husband gotta do this, my, hu my wife gotta do that. We're gonna, we're gonna work together as a unit and we're gonna work together. That's what a queen and a king is. Not somebody who get up and on some selfish shit and this and that and fuck that, I'm not doing that today. There's a lot of things that the king does not wanna do. There's a lot of things that the queen does not wanna do. But at the end of the day, it has to be done because it benefits the kingdom. That's how I feel. Viral! The queen has to trust the king in order to support his decisions. Because if she's constantly contradicting him and not taking into consideration what his decision is, nothing's gonna get done. Absolutely. And that's not a queen. But in the end, the general plan has to be supported. So, so, so a woman- I oh. not make a decision without the, the, the consult or the, the, the information or the whatever. Input, right. Input. Of, of the queen. But you right. just can't straight up say, hey, that's just- However, stupid. however, in the same breath, a woman will decide who she wants to submit to. Yeah. So whether he's a king or not, if she doesn't feel comfortable submitting to that person, not. she's not going to do it. And, and she, I don't care what you do to try to make her submit, right. she's just not going but to submit. And she will, that's a gesture. Nah, no, you can't because, say that. Like, but here's the thing, though. You can't say that. Yes, I can. Because, oh, no, 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 no. It means that you don't it doesn't identify mean, it doesn't mean that it doesn't, it doesn't mean that he doesn't have the skill either. It means that you she cannot identify what a king is to know when to submit. That's the problem. Because, look, if I was a king, right, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who think that they're kings mm -hmm. and they're trying to acquire a queen, mm -hmm. but they're not a, a king. So they can't right. acquire a queen. Guess what? The roles get flipped. There's a lot of women that think that they are queens. So they submit to the wrong person. Although example A could be the king, they're going to submit to example B because example B actually caters to their feelings but women and not, make, and not women, the women make bad That's decisions all the time but that doesn't initial, make you that wasn't your initial yes it is no i said women what i'm saying I said is women. once you submit to the women wrong make person, bad decisions all the time how many times have you met a dude that you know didn't have no business being between your legs but you still let him get there if we stop talking for each other and listen to each other we'll make far more progress I don't think that men should tell women what they're looking for and what they want and what they need and I don't think that women should be talking for us as well. If we talk collectively, that's why I don't. That's why I don't support women empowerment groups. I don't support none of those foolishness because I feel like it's a community. And if a woman is empowering herself and comes back home to her man and leaves her man unempowered, then what type of progress are we making? In really in real aspect. So at the end of the day, it's a community empowerment. So now. We need to have the men and the women's empowerment. We need to have the women inside the men groups. And we need to listen to each other. Without without that, we're not getting anywhere. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? We're just making noise. And until we start listening to each other and respecting each other's views, we're not gonna be it's not gonna be so so when so so for example, if if <laughs> if Rico has something to say about men and the way men feel. The women at the table should listen and understand it. And when the women 
you have something to say. Same. Rico needs to listen. I actually think for the most part that. I think that's the biggest problem between, you know what I'm saying? It's humility, the, the, the ability to sit and actually listen. You know what I'm saying? To sit and listen and not think that I know everything. That's what keeps relationships together. But I'm telling you, the reason a lot of people get broke a uh, breakup is from that one issue, humility. If we could fix that, bro, I swear to God, like things would be so much better. But I'm just speaking on a general basis. Like, like society. Says, right. So society. that's Divinity. the representation yeah, right. of the men. You are the representation of the women. He says the development women. should be so, together. The men right. that you mention a woman or a men's group, right. we've so, already so, separated ourselves. Right. But you know so, what? So if I'm so if I'm in a house, let's say, let's say, let's say I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a relationship with her, right? Huh? What you say? <laughs> Can you do an accent? Can you do an accent? <laughs> so so let's say me and I are four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So let's yes. say me and her is together, right? <laughs> me and her is together, and we're having issues within our relationship, right? And she <laughs> goes to therapy by herself, and I'm not doing any therapy. She leaves me behind. We're not moving as a unit. You understand what I'm saying? Until we start doing couples therapy, and until we start doing things for each other, then we're never going to make progress. Because then what's going to happen is she's going to go like this, and I'm going to be sit sitting here. Right. So until we start doing that, to me, we're not going to make any progress. And That's you know, just how I feel. I, you know what the crazy thing is? When you say that, I think about it and, I, and I'm like, I've seen men empowerment groups. Like, I don't believe all of the red pill nonsense when they basically mm -hmm. get money to shit on women. Mm -hmm. I think that's corny. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in the women, Absolutely. women empowerment movement where they do the same, get money to shit on men. Right? I think that's, that's not progressive. But one thing I would love to start seeing is a unity empowerment movement, a couples empowerment. Absolutely. I don't see those things, you know what I'm saying? At all. And, and I, it doesn't Rico. sell. Rico. I'll see it doesn't Rico. sell. Rico, I'll, but, but Rico. Rico. Sell. let's start this shit next week. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I would love to see that, like, yo. That's what we need. And that's a good we do. point. Like, to start, like, she mentioned it. She's like, let's do it next week because nobody ain't doing it. But this is something that needs to be done because it's crazy how he's saying it's like everything is being separated, not just in a relational a relationship category but in many other categories as well you know what i'm saying so if we can all if we can stop separating stuff and do things and uh, together bro like i swear we can make so much progress i mean they hit the nail on the head with them yeah we're not gonna make no progress we're gonna just have these, these debates and arguments that's just what that it's gonna going be. in circles exactly and at the end of the day and, and i i agree with you because i feel like everything that we say here I've heard, or we have. And you said. know what's funny? You yeah. know what's funny? People are people are gaining monetary yeah. gain off of these conversations that with no with no that, solution. With no solution. But, but you know, no you know what the crazy thing is? Here's the even crazier part: people are paying and or subscribing, which is giving them the monetary gain. Yeah, so because like, people are regurgitating bullshit. Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> but nobody would regurgitate shit if they weren't getting paid. Because if, if if they were not getting money to do it, they would stop doing it, right? Mm -hmm. So now my thing is, we have to figure out a way where, and, and this is just my opinion right now. I'm just thinking off mm -hmm. on the fly. We have to figure out, it's basically charity work to the community. Whether or not it pays us or not, we got to make a conscious contribution to listen to each other. If we had hosted groups, mm -hmm. okay, black men um, are going to listen to black women and then flip flop, whatever the case may be. And we did this twice a week. And then maybe it might not get the monetary gain that everybody's looking for, but we could actually get a progressive gain that is what is what's Absolutely. needed. Whether like not just race, but, you know, women, men, men and women, especially... Mm -hmm. I say especially here in America because everywhere else this problem doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It's right. It does not exist You're right. anywhere else. Right. It does not exist anywhere else. <laughs> it, 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 it does exist in the bigger countries. Let's say that. Yeah. Let's say the bigger countries. Like, so maybe yeah, they, London, they, so they right though because in America is a culture thing. You feel me? The culture has made things this way. Cult cultures that the media push on society that makes society think a certain way you feel what i'm saying so i mean they made great points in that video i really enjoyed that video and i i feel like that is actually coming up with a solution them basically saying you should have 
groups to where you empower groups, where you empower togetherness, and we can go so much further. Tell me what y'all think about the video in the comments, man. Thank you guys for watching the video. See you guys next video. Hey, and always remember, be safe out there, Kings. Go follow me on Instagram at 200 underscore acres. See you guys next video. Let's get it, man.